I'm sure you guys have heard of standing desks before, and you know, they're pretty popular, but have you ever wondered if there would ever be a difference in your gaming experience or even performance? Well, let's find out. Hey, what's up guys? My name is JD from JD Tech here, and welcome back to the channel where we discuss PC patch reviews, guides, mods, and more. So if you're into that sort of thing, consider subscribing and checking out the rest of the channel. Standing desks have been around for a while and are usually marketed to increase productivity by standing on your feet, which many people have claimed actually work. Personally, it has for me too. But what about gaming? Will you get the same boost in attention and awareness? And I have to say yes, but how does that contrast to sitting? I've been sitting while gaming my whole life and there's only a handful of times where I actually stood while gaming, but having a standing desk has changed all that. It's one thing to be standing while holding a controller, playing on console or PC, and personally, I don't like that, some people do. If there is a platform like a desk, I can game much more comfortably and reap the benefits of standing, especially while using a keyboard and mouse, obviously. The desk I'm using is from FlexiSpot and is an absolute beast of a desk and incredibly well made and will be the standing desk for this video. With a standing desk, you can adjust the height to exactly exactly what you need so you can have your elbows at the right angle to game comfortably. This is incredibly important otherwise you might have your wrist over angled or in a position that will feel unnatural to you causing you not to game that well. So you will most likely need to calibrate the height exactly how you want it in order to maximize your comfort. And the nice thing about this flexi spot desk is that there's three different settings which you can assign a specific height to once you get it fully calibrated in which feels most comfortable to you. If you plan on standing while gaming for a good amount of time make sure you're standing on something comfortable otherwise you'll be antsy to sit back down and kind of defeats the purpose of standing while gaming so i highly recommend getting an anti-fatigue mat for continuous hours of standing this is important for leaving pressure to different parts of your feet while standing for a long time this anti-fatigue mat is also from flexi spot which you can check out and this thing is day and night for me if i'm standing for a while at the desk i thought the carpet would be enough cushion for me but it's not so either get some really nice shoes for standing or an anti-fatigue mat or both if you want. Now that comfort is maximized, how's my gaming performance? Better yet, how's my gaming experience? Honestly, I feel more in tune, more engaged, and more energetic. When you're standing, you have better blood circulation and increased focus because of it. Does it make me game better? Personally, I think it does. It also depends on a lot of variables in the type of game. For FPS and esport titles, I prefer standing. I feel like I have an edge and respond quicker to every encounter. However, on the flip side, for more casual or single player games, I'd rather be sitting down since I don't need a competitive edge to perform better, although I do believe it's a good idea to keep cycling between sitting and standing for the best health benefits. Sitting while gaming is inherently most instinctive to almost anyone and you have all your preferences figured out already, so there's no learning curve. It also depends on the type of chair you're sitting in that makes the experience. If I had a crappy chair, I'd be wanting to stand at the desk all the time. However, I'm using one of the best chairs on the market along for maximum blood flow and possibly the best chance for absolute gaming performance while sitting. This is the LF Gaming Stealth Chair. I have a full review on it if you want to check it out. Now it is a top of the line chair, so it's pretty expensive. I'm not going to lie to you guys. Now with that in mind, I still have my preferences for games while sitting and standing as I mentioned earlier, but that's my experience. Let's have some other people try out gaming while standing and see what they have to say. So playing CSGO, do you feel more engaged when you're standing? I think I'm more focused for sure. What kind of games would you rather be sitting for? Like I know you don't have to like stand for every single competitive game. But if you had to choose like a list or a genre of games that you'd be standing for, for a competitive edge versus sitting, which um, games would those be? A game I've played for years, League of Legends. I definitely want to sit for it because it's 40, 50 minutes. It's really long. Yep. So, and it's really slow. It's not like action all the time, but for a game that's a lot more fast paced and you know, like, CSGO. Yeah. I don't know about ranks in CSGO, but I definitely played standing. You did a little bit better this round, Shell. I 62. Did. Do you think that is a result of standing while gaming? Sure. Well, what do you feel like? For me personally, yeah. So what kind of games would you prefer to be sitting versus standing then? Strategy. This is a bit different than strategy. Just like something that needs like a lot of time and planning. I can't give you a reference right now because I don't have one off the top of my head. Okay. But like games that Ralph likes basically. Order of Battle. I wouldn't play gear, no, tanks on this. I wouldn't play- World of Tanks? Yeah, World of Tanks on the, like this. Mm -hmm. um, I would play Dragon Age like this. Um, Skyrim I could play like this. 
interesting. And why is that? I, I don't know, honestly. So, did you say more intense games? Yeah, more Like intense. FPS and shooters? Uh-huh. Well, obviously, same thing, but... And RPGs. And do you feel like the, the anti-fatigue mat is necessary? Yes, but I suggest moving around even if you do have the mat. As you can tell, the overall consensus was that standing gave a competitive edge and the anti-fatigue mat helps. It's almost a necessity if you don't have something super cushy to stand on. It's these elements that provide the competitive edge and not just standing with a keyboard and mouse in hand, and obviously that wouldn't work. While standing desk is marketed for better productivity, I think it would be safe to say that the same can be said for gaming. Having a top of the line chair and standing desk with an anti-fatigue mat is probably the most ergonomic setup I can think of, and each provides its own benefits and they can certainly be used to maximize your gaming performance and experience depending on the game. It is definitely worth the consideration trying a standing desk for gaming. So if you guys don't have a standing desk already, FlexiSpot's actually running a sale right now on some of their desks at the time of making this video, so make sure you check that out. The link will be in the description. Everything's in the description, guys. So if you have any questions about anything, it's usually answered in the description. If not, I would probably have it in the pinned comment. So make sure to check that out as well if for any potential links. Also, if you guys want to help support the channel, I have merch that I'm not wearing, also PC art like that back there. Patreon for exclusive bonus content and supporting the channel, what I do here. And if you guys haven't already, consider subscribing, checking out the rest of the channel. And thank you all for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one.